I like to start my watercolors with a pencil drawing usually. Uh, here I was working from a photograph off of my phone. This drawing by my partner is one of the many we're using as characters for this comic book, uh, DNA. It's a somewhat philosophical horror story, so in this case we're using an expression that's uh, very uh, emotional, if you're right. We're actually listening to a writer's series while we draw tonight. Amanda is one of the main characters. She's the A in the DNA. As a matter of fact, I don't have a flesh tone with this colored pencil set, and I have to kind of improvise one. Here you can see that I'm using my finger to work with the, with the pigment and the water. I use varying degrees of water as well. Sometimes I, I leave drops that I spread out onto the paper a little bit, and sometimes I work with the pencil a little drier, but uh, I also keep going back to the little puddles that I make and I touch my pencil into those and I try to uh, to work with the pigment that's already on the page so don't worry about putting too much just work with what you have there on the page trying to leave some of the part closest to what I consider the light source to leave it light and uh, make the darker concentration of the color over here. Now I'm going to take this thinner paint and start moving it up here and uh, I might come back and mix some kind of gray together with this. Again this is what I consider the darker part of the picture and then moving up so that those lighter shades go up closer. I actually liked the effects on the hair early on and uh, would like to maybe try to get that technique again sometime. Brushes are good if you're trying to keep very close to your original pencil work. Before we go, I had actually started working on a uh, story with the X-Men and Don Quixote, and I thought I would work on that watercolor just a little bit as well. So here's a little preview.